happy Saturday. This is the second time I am trying to get this video done. I got really long-winded and super chatty uh, the first time and my memory died. Uh, I'm a little anxious because I'm allowing myself to get anxious about things that I have no control and no answers for as of right now. So I'm kind of like swimming in my own made-up madness and um, I get real chatty when I feel that way. So we're going to shut up and get into what the heck it is we're here to get into which is a thrift haul it was supposed to be a whole lot of other things but i just don't have the memory so i'm gonna have to break it into two bits but the second bit is me gonna be trying to be creative outside so let's jump into what the heck i've gotten myself into since little dude's appointment um little dude did have to go back to the doctor on tuesday he still wasn't feeling well uh, they switched him off of one antibiotic, put him onto another one. Uh, we are no longer uh, concerned that it, his symptoms are pneumonia. Now they're thinking he may have asthma, but we won't know until he's been on this current antibiotic for a little bit, and then he goes back for a follow-up. But he seems to be doing really, really well. Uh, his congestion is pretty much gone. He hasn't had a fever since Wednesday evening. So he's pretty much at 90% little dude. But after that doctor visit, uh, we headed over to um, Ben Franklin Apothecary while we were waiting for our for his prescription. Uh, he was really thirsty with the temp and all, so we went to the old soda fountain in the back of this um, apothecary, and he had himself a cherry Coke, and literally 10 to 15 steps across the street is Thrifty Station, and he felt okay uh, to go snoop around in there while we waited for CVS to call us with a prescription. Yes, we were at an apothecary, but that's not where a prescription was sent prescription was the CVS and we were waiting to go pick up his meds so we went to thrifty station and I found two things there that I am excited about um, I found this neat little whisk at first I thought it was one of those head massagers uh, but it's way tiny and what you're gonna massage a kitten's head with this thing but it's one of these fancy thingies and I I think I've seen these on cooking shows so after a while, boo, it clicked that it was a whisk. It was $1. I feel so cooking show. And then the only other thing that I picked up, I was so geeked out about because I've wanted one of the 80s versions of this. Every time I say I'm at Goodwill, but they're never complete. They're either missing the plug-in part or the lid. Uh, but just for nostalgia purposes, I've always wanted an electric skillet like my mama used to have. Well, this ain't the one like my mama used to have. But it's awesome. It is a salad something brand. I'll tell you guys the brand in just a little bit. But it was $8 tested and it works. It's the electric skillet lid and a cookbook is in here. And I saw it and it was shiny and it was pretty. And the inside is Prestine. It's a salad master brand. And here's the cookbook of all the little things you can make in here. And here's the little doohickey gadget that plugs into the side of it. And the inside is awesome. I almost made the Sloppy Joes in here this evening, but I hadn't showed them. Well, this afternoon. But I hadn't showed this to you guys, and I hadn't washed it. So I'll make something delicious in here. So that's what we picked up that day uh, on Tuesday. And then he couldn't go back to school until Thursday. So Wednesday he stayed with his grandma. And if y'all have been with me a while, y'all know whenever little dude is with his nana, I tend to stop off at the thrift stores on the way to pick him up because there's so many around there. And I went to Goodwill. Uh, and I found a few little things there that I am super happy about because I'm still working out in the yard. Actually, let me maneuver myself over here because this piece is kind of big and I'm going to try and figure out how to show it to you guys. Look at how adorable this teapot is. And he's only $3.93. I had this solar lit flower. You stake it in the ground in my basket but I found something I really really want so much more but wanted to show you guys how cute that is this milk glass container is really pretty but I really don't want to start another collection but it's pretty for a plant 
these little metal cactuses are so cute for like a centerpiece outside. Adorable. Let me show y'all how tempted I am by this. There are three sets, probably lovingly or forgottingly stored somewhere. It's a hostess set of these for eight bucks. I'm so tempted, you guys. This is beautiful. Look at that. Jewel tones, so nice. This is really pretty and delicate. Look at that, that is so pretty. I'm trying to be good y'all, but it's hard in here today. This is $5.95 and I'm tempted to set it outside, put a candle in it, but I've already gotten a few things I probably shouldn't have gotten. Isn't that pretty? Nice and heavy and shiny. Lovely. Okay, can y'all make out what this is? It's metal. Um, it's musicians, a sax player, and is this a bass or a cello? Because it has the little pointy on here. I'm thinking bass or the saxophone, right? Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. But it's this awesome metal piece that I'm going to post up outside either against the brick wall on the walkway or on the fence I'm not sure but this is going to go along with a metal scrolly of musical notes that I have let me see if I can get out here and show it to you. okay I'm out here in the dark guys and y'all know I'm scared of the dark don't mind the little dingleberry from my wind chime anywho this is the little metal musical note thing I'm talking about. It used to be in Little Dude's room above his keyboard and then I took it down because we moved his keyboard into the closet and it's kind of just been sitting randomly around the house but I'm going to set this near my musicians. I'm going to spray paint it to match the metal of the musicians and I think it's going to be a pretty addition out here somewhere. So I can't wait to, to arrange that somewhere outside. Like I said, it's one of two places that I'm considering, uh, but that piece was $7.97 and I'd pick it up again, but your girl is tired. Like I said, this is the second time I tried to do this video and I'm tired, but um, that's going outside. Um, also, this lovely little find is gonna go outside. This is super heavy and I keep tangling myself in it this wrought iron plant stand uh, that did not have a sticker on it, but after um, the cashiers up front spoke to each other about it, they sold it to me for $5.95 and it's cast iron or wrought iron metal swirly loveliness that I'm gonna put a little plant in. Another addition to my outside zen space. This beautiful little mug that I swear I'm either going to fill full of wine here in the next few minutes or make me a chai. Uh, it's really pretty. It's this pretty turquoise on the inside and their cups are 99 cents. He was so lovely. He had to come home with me. And the only other thing I picked up there was this blouse. And y'all know I haven't been really buying thrifted items, not clothing, for a while now. But this whole Shein experience is making me feel really girly and want to buy things. Uh, so I saw this and I thought it was really cute. It's um, really flouncy and it has the little tie at the waist. And I tried it on when I got home and it fits really cute and it hides all my sinful monster belly and everything. So it was really cute. And I think this was $4.99. I can't remember. Their pricing is so weird now. I can't make heads or tails out of it. But I think it was $4.99 because it read blouses. $4.99. I didn't find um, color tag sale there that day. But um, that was the running around I did Tuesday and Wednesday. And today is Saturday. And I had to go do some last minute uh, final signing of tax documents and things. And we were in Oak Cliff. So I moved on over to Thrift Mart. Thrift Mart? Yeah, I went over to Thrift Mart for a little while and dug around there. 
I'm at Thrift Mart, and I gotta tell you guys, I'm being really tempted today. They have these random bags of jewelry for $8.98, and I've looked through all of them. And this one had some really cute hoops and thingies in here that I almost got, but I'm being good, and I'm gonna leave them there because more than likely, anyway, I'm gonna find things I really, really like on Shein in regards to jewelry. So I'm gonna be good and leave it there. Now, I gotta be honest and tell y'all I'm struggling with this stuff. I'm struggling with leaving this behind because it's really cute and y'all know I like this kind of stuff. It's only $2.92, but I don't have any more room for it in the cabinets with my bakeware or bowls. So that might stay. This will come in handy for the wheels. I may take that. This is so pretty. I'm tempted by that. But this, guys, y'all know I love a seashell, right? This is a lamp. It's $12.92 worth of lamp, and I don't know if I want it or not. This is the kind of thing I think once I get home I'm going to feel real stupid about. But in case I don't get it, I'm going to get it on video. <laughs> Just so I can look at it later. So I did bring the little bowl home. Uh, I usually have my jalapenos and, and avocados randomly laying on the counter. And I thought... I could put them in here, and that little bowl was two ninety two. It was really pretty. If I find a lid, I find a lid. If not, oh well. I brought home the sunflower. It was too pretty to leave behind. I love stained glass, and it's going to go with my little collection of um, little stained glass pieces here in the window. I found this awesome little book, and it's funny because I just had to have a mommy moment with a little dude in regards to his skincare because he swears up and down, he washes his face and scrubs it when he's in the shower and I can tell he doesn't. And it's funny because I found this book, Taking Care of Myself, A Healthy Hygiene, Puberty and Personal Curriculum for Young People with Autism. What are the odds? I mean, this isn't a new situation with a uh, little dude. I have to make sure that, you know, he's keeping up his hygiene and all, but with autistic kids, it's a little different. Um, I could go into a whole spiel of why, but your girl ain't got enough memory on this phone. But I just thought the timing of it was perfect because he's 12 and I'm currently having these conversations with him. And that was really cool. A cool find for $1.41. You guys, I sound really draggy. Like I can hear it in my voice. I'm so over today. <laughs> just tired. Not in a bad way. I'm just tired. I got everything done that I needed to get done because tomorrow I just want to relax. I did bring the brush, the tire brush home. Uh, these are five something or six something at Walmart. And this one was $2.92. And I bought the shorter one because the bristles are a little rougher and I wanted to get a better clean on the tire. But I'm squatting down there with the little one all in the nooks and crannies. And your girl is not built for that anymore, okay? So this is going to work out way better when the rain friggin' stops and I can actually wash my car again. And the only other things I found was a 75% off blouse. What color is this? I can't even tell. It's kind of, it's burgundy. Burgundy blouse. Uh, it's kind of, it, it has no arm. And y'all know I'm very sensitive. I'm very self-conscious about my arms. But it's a little long where I think it may hang just a bit and cover some of my, my sausage happening up here and it has little gatherings on the side i thought it was really cute and it was 75 percent off of 2.99 so i practically got it for free i found these little whatever drawstring pants their blue tags were 50 percent off just little whatever drawstring pants they have little drawstrings on the bottom just to put her around the house in or, or mess around outside in so they were half off 3.99 i got another blue tag item the Faded Glory, that's Walmart brand, a uh, little, they're kind of pedal pushery length. They're not ankle, they're just a little bit above the ankle, but just little black uh, jeans I thought would be cute. And those were also half off of $3.99. And then outside of that particular store, when you walk in, they have racks of clothing for $0.50, cents, $0.75. Cents. I don't remember if I paid $0.50 cents or $0.75 cents for any of this stuff, but I found these random around the house shorts probably 50 75 cents like i said and then this super comfy big t-shirt for just a few cents and then i found little dude this one and now that i'm looking at it it might actually be a little too small 
or fit the body, which I really don't like. I like him to have a little movement, but that was just sense as well. Okay, the only other thing I picked up there, <laughs> this is the store that sells groceries, a thrift store that sells groceries, and I found limited time flavor lays fried pickles with ranch. Oh my goodness, guys. I love fried pickles and I love Dunkin' Lemon Ranch. I can imagine that these are going to be delicious. I'm actually going to dig into those here in a little bit. I'm going to be so classy. I'm going to have some fried pickle and ranch flavored chips with some friggin' Moscato. You guys, I need to chill. I really do. I don't know how to just stop and relax. But, um, I also went to pick up a few groceries. I went to 99 cent only and then I ran over to... Uh, what used to be Terry's here in Dallas Fort Worth, it's now called Price Saver, and I picked up a few things. And some of you guys like to see grocery items, so I'm going to attach that in here as well. So here's what I picked up on the way home. I got some of the Jimmy Dean uh, Heat and Serve Sausages. Me and Big Dude really like these. And Sundays, now that I actually have someone to cook a nice big breakfast for, uh, I'm loading up on the breakfast meats. I got some John Morrell bacon. I got some nanners and I get them green because once they speckle, I cannot freaking eat them. They like make me nauseous. So these will go yellow and stay yellow a little longer for me. I got a can of Mandwich. I already have one, but big dude and I want to have Mandwich tonight. Little dude is going to have uh, burritos. But since I'm going to be cooking up the ground beef, uh, me and big dude want Mandwich. Um, big dude eats a lot. He's a big man. Um, not big as in size, but you know, he's a big dude. Young dudes eat a lot. So I'm going to do two of the jars of manwich with maybe two pounds of ground beef. Definitely two pounds of ground beef or it's going to be too saucy and gross. And if we have leftovers, leftovers are good. I got the carry green salsa because big dude was sniffing around for green salsa and I had just a teeny tiny bit. So got more. I got the little twisty pretzels because these are bomb as a snack. I went ahead and took your guys' advice. Your guys? Is that grammatically, grammatically correct? Is grammatically even correct? Anywho, I went ahead and got the ginger blend. Uh, some of you guys have had suggested it when I mentioned I got the spearmint tea because your girl gives, gets a little crazy with the eating. So I got some ginger tea. Hopefully that's delish. I got a refill for the cookie jar of the iced oatmeal. I got... Some Hostess White for during the week for little dude's lunches. I got some ballpark burger buns for the manwich. I picked up some chicharrones. These are not the pork skin. They're the fried wheat snacks that I make chilindrinas on. I don't know if you guys have been with me long enough to remember I made chilindrinas. It was a disaster because I tried to use some fake crab and it was horrific. I ended up using, I don't remember, what, oh, uh, deli ham, which was delicious as an option or an alternate but I'm craving uh, chilindrina so I got those not this as big a pack as I usually get because that pack will just sit there and sit there and sit there so I just got this four pack I got some Guerrero um, chips because we have all kinds of salsa I got some RC's to mix up little dudes um, medications with my brisk iced tea because if I make tea myself oh my gosh you guys my tea will have me not sleeping for a week I got the four pack of soft touch tissue. It's not as soft as the brand, uh, the Scotty's brand at Dollar Tree. It's not as absorbent as the Target or Walmart Kleenex, but I was already there and it was only $2.99. So it's definitely cheaper than Target and I needed them and they were there. I got this brand Regio uh, bath tissue. It does what it's supposed to do and the paper towels. Um, paper towels are $3.49 for six and then I picked up these little flower pots and I'm gonna tell y'all why in just a little bit but let me run off on the other side into the kitchen and finish off my grocery haul so this was from cost saver it used to be Terry's here in Dallas Fort Worth uh, now they're all cost savers I couldn't find my crusty dusty funky avocados at uh, 99 cent only so I went ahead and got these these were three for a dollar these are gonna be for my chilindrinas I got a cabbage for my chilindrinas, I was looking for a small one, but I couldn't find a small one, so I'll sprinkle a little bit of cabbage on the chilindrina and then just cook the rest for dinner one night this week. I got a pack of shrimp for the chilindrinas. I got this uh, family pack, well, not a family pack, but it's a bigger pack 
of ground beef for a cheaper price than had I just paid for one pound. One pound was three ninety nine. No, one pound was four something. And here I have two and a half pounds for four something. So I'll just split it. I'm probably going to use a pound and a half. No, this is the one I'm going to use two pounds of um, for the manwich and then save half a pound and freeze it. I got some corn on the cob because I like corn on the cob with manwich. I got my tried and true staple in the house fajitas because we just made uh, quesadillas the other day and I used the whole bag. I had a craving for a Dr. Pepper y'all and I was out of prale. I was down to the itsy bitsy bottom of my prale and little dude now likes to use it because it leaves his hair all easy to straighten. Uh, so I'm running out. So I got that and that is everything that I picked up. I've been grocery shopping. I never let my groceries dwindle down to nothing. Uh, this is just my fillers and, and things I get ideas for and I get hungry for during the week. So that's that. Now the only other place I went to today was to Walmart. I uh, had to pick up a few things there for little dude and I picked up some extras. I picked up this uh, 58 gallon bin because uh, I had to empty out some drawers now that my big dude is home and I took out an entire drawer of sweaters that I now need to store so I needed that bin for my sweaters. I picked up another batch of washcloths because one more body in the house means we need more washcloths. I went a little wax crazy. I got the illusion this is little dude's favorite. I got two of each. I got the Enchanted, which I absolutely am loving right now. This one I had not smelled. It was new to me. Perfect day. Smells amazing. <laughs> Look at my nail, guys. I had to fix my nail. It was breaking. So that's my glue and um, tea bag fix. I put that video up a while back, if y'all don't remember. That's how you fix the cracks. Anywho, I digress. And then I found the big value pack of Girlfriend Night. Love this one. Love, love, love this one. I got two movies, Vince Vaughn Freaky, um, Things Get Freaky at Blissfield High when 17-year-old Millie swaps bodies with an infamous serial killer. <laughs> it sounds hilarious. Probably disgusting and deranged. Sounds hilarious. This one is called A Spell. This man is going into Appalachia to his father's funeral in the little plane that they're in crashes. And uh, Loretta Divine rescues him. He wakes up in her house. And she is convinced that she can nurse him back to health with a boogity, a hoodoo figure she has made from his blood and skin. Unable to call for help, Marquise desperately tries to outwit and break free from her dark magic and save his family from a sinister ritual before the rise of the blood moon. I love Loretta Divine. Her voice is so funny to me, the, the, the whispering of it all, but it looks super scary. Um... And that's what I'm going to settle down and watch here in a little bit. And then I picked up a tablecloth for the outside table because that one was just over it after all the ice and everything. I'm still trying to get my yard pretty. Uh, and then I picked up uh, four cans of um, this color spray paint because I'm going to spray paint my little fakie Adirondack plastic chairs just to make it look a little brighter and better. And then I picked up three um, caladiums because I have a pot I want to try these out in. In the back, I have a few little pots, and then I picked up three um, sweet potato plants. Uh, both of these I had in plants before the ice and everything came and killed them, so I'm going to try it again with those. And then I think I'm done plant-wise. I would love a rose bush, but I'm not sure. But that is everything. I still want to get creative with this stuff. I'll have to make another video with that once I can actually get outside and work on the yard. Uh, but until my next go on, I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. This might have been all choppy choppy or maybe it's just my head because I'm tired and, you know, I've been on mommy duty uh, with little dude today that I'm um, a little off. Uh, but uh, I hope I can blend it all together. But until my next go around, I hope you all are safe and happy and having a wonderful weekend. And I love y'all bunches. Bye.